So my name's Kathleen, I work at Bluff Row Medical Practice. I'm a practice nurse and I've been there for approximately about two and a half years and Jan also, she um, works with me and has been there for um, a lot longer. So in March 19th this, of this year, we um, were due for our annual checking and servicing of our two vaccine storage bridges and we um, in, inquired about getting them checked and serviced from the company that did them last year and we were given last year a compliance certificate. So this year we um, organised for the gentleman to come out. He spent an hour with us and um, a co on completion of that, uh, the servicing of both these vaccine fridges, um, we were given a certificate of notice of non-compliance that the vaccine fridges at Bluff Road did, mo did not comply with the standards of vaccine storage as issued by the Quality Care Pharmaceutical Program. The notice stated that both of the fridges have problems with the controlled refrigerator systems and therefore they cannot be calibrated to correctly display the real temperature inside the fridge at any one time. We were recommended therefore to purchase two new fridges at the cost of $11,803. So our shock and our partners of the practice were quite shocked as well because the same company came and did the servicing of both fridges last year and um, I'll tell you what they did last year and which you know we were given yep they're all okay and this year we had the same man come out or the from the company. The reasons that were given from the company that we did not comply with compliance were the fridges were measured in three different areas, um, locations as you can see like um, the upper, middle and lower and it was noted that the fridges were not calibrated to read true temperature. It was noted that the middle shelf in the fridge 2, which I'm, um, I'll have to double check on our diagrams that we were given, I think it was our travel fridge, um, that's our government free fridge then. Oh, no, they're, no, I think it's oh they're, both, both, they're both, they're both, oh, the they're both our travel yeah. fridge. Yeah. Um, the fridge two read minimum, maximum, respectively, of 1.3 to 6.7. Therefore, the <coughs> lower range was out of the control. They are saying that the controller cannot be calibrated properly and therefore to keep the vaccines at a temperature that they're meant to be stored at. <coughs> they also said that the minimum, maximum display cannot be calibrated at all and therefore there is no provision for it, which I'll go in because there's a bit of contra contradiction from last year. And if the temperatures were to be adjusted to the best on the controller, the minimum maximum would be a long way off, therefore affecting the efficacy of the storage of vaccines. They also stated that the data logger, which we have uploaded every week um, and download, that is currently on the fridge is connected on a probe that is in the same place as the controller and the minimum maximum display. It was stated, therefore, that the data logger is also not recording the correct air stock temperature correctly and cannot be replied, uh, relied upon to save stock in event in a failure. Therefore, it must be noted that we have only had these fridges for three years, um, so they're not very old at all, and we haven't had a lot of maintenance done on them, so they've been working effectively for us for the last three years. And the gentleman who came out to attend the service as I said, did the service <coughs> last year for us at Bluff Road and he was satisfied with the running of them and all he did was adjust the calibration on the controller last year to make sure that it, our fridges were working effectively and met the standards of compliance. So therefore we were very bemused and baffled of why this year we were given a certificate of non-compliance, whereas last year the fridges were you know, he spent the same time I was there last year when he came and worked on the fridges, tested the upper, middle, lower shelving and all he did was had to calibrate, just recalibrate the ranges. So it's quite alarming to hear that he stated this with the servicing um, and in the hour that he tested the temperatures at the top, the middle and the lower shelf of the fridges, he only found a variation of five degrees that he stated in the letter to us of non-compliance. So in response to this, we put our working hats on. Our, one of our um, other nurses, Pam, who works with us, um, we decided that we weren't actually happy with the outcome. Our practice partners weren't happy 
because given that you know we were told and we, we got a letter back not long after he came out in response to this that you know we had to the recommendation was to purchase two new fridges um, given last year's attendance and the outcome and there was such a great discrepancy that we decided to take it upon ourselves and purchase six minimum maximum thermometers to place in each of the fridges, so um, the upper, the middle, or the lower, and, and you might be see, able to see one there. we've got one here, yeah, one there. and one we've the got one up here, and there's one that we've placed down the bottom. So we did that late oh, late March, um, and we record the morning and the evening um, fridge temperatures, and so we're recording these internal fridge temperatures as well, morning and evening. Um, we also carried out a slurry test before putting these thermometers in the fridges and that passed. Mm. So, yeah, it And meant. then what were the actual temperatures? Okay. The, the, the temperatures, temperatures actually were within the range between two and eight. They didn't oh. actually vary um, greatly at Was all. It pretty consistent among the, yep. between the shelves? And I'm and one of the morning. It's yeah. It's so. <laughs> And we do everything as required. We put the probe inside the vaccine box. So it's actually, we're doing, the, you know, doing what the guidelines state. That's just in there. I think that's the probe inside yeah. that box, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think you can. That box, one of those boxes. Yeah, one of the boxes like out there. That's just the hanging cord. So from mm. your findings, what did you say to the man? Well, we so, actually haven't followed up yet because yeah. we thought we've got to actually um, set a time frame of so we can actually see whether or not there is um, a trend for us with these temperature range. So we'll have to do an analysis. So we'll say give ourselves, I think, three months, I think we're doing, um, and then get all our data, see what's happening, and if it stays consistent within that range, well... Right, right. Oh, now, yes. I'll tell you I'll tell you a little bit more about this. I'll just borrow the mic for a bit. So, was it, was it the same thing who came last year? Yes, yeah, the same, same, same gentleman same that came the, the year before. Now, they were, I was actually overseas. I haven't been overseas in nine years. Um, and I was actually overseas when, when Pam uh, sent me an email going, look, we've just had this, the maintenance guy come in and this is what he's reported and he's issued us with non-compliance. This is what we're thinking of doing. We're just gonna do a, um, we've, we've gotten these thermometers and we're just gonna track it ourselves, which I thought was very proactive and a fantastic, like, wouldn't you agree? Like, that's quite a, yes. yeah, um, proactive way of going. Yeah, yeah. well, six, that's, that's great, but then it, there's no way that you're not getting a good, good accurate reading they've also done the slurry test yep. to make sure that the the thermometers are accurate so they've covered all bases that's more than i that i think even i would have thought of doing so i get this email and i'm in singapore and i'm going okay so i'm emailing pan back going okay no it sounds like you're doing great just keep monitoring if they haven't had a breach yet there's no reason to panic there's no reason to discard anything or call the department of health keep monitoring and then we'll, um, we can have a look and when I get back and we'll invest, investigate for, further. If they haven't had a breach and you're tracking all the shells, just keep doing what you're doing, keep documenting. And so they actually are keeping track of not just morning temperatures and afternoon temperatures, morning temperatures for all shells. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And afternoon, yeah. And again, this is a special mm -hmm. scenario because we had this, mm -hmm. this um, gentleman come out and do this maintenance thing. Now, a couple of weeks later, I get another practice calling me going we've just been we've just we had a maintenance guy it was the same guy that came last year we've just been issued with same fridge we've just been issued with this notice of non-compliance so here i am thinking well either all these fridges are all of a sudden starting to die after three years again it was only a, a couple of years old or there's something dodgy and immediately there was that and then there was the offer of lucky for you in the back of my truck i've got a couple of fridges that i can sell you right now <laughs> but their bill was about seven thousand dollars, so it wasn't eleven thousand. Theirs was going to be seven thousand eight hundred. Maybe we started cutting back the the price. <laughs> yeah. 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 So so wait a second. This is sounding a bit sus. So she said, "Well, look, what I'm doing is I'm actually I'm not happy with this, and I think we're doing quite a good job. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a second opinion. I'm going to get a different, because the way that we found this gentleman was because we called um, the, the company and they, he's the one that they recommended. Yeah? Now, now, they called again and they said this was the issue and they managed to get, they called their, their supplier, their medical supplier, the one that issued them with the fridge, and they sent them another person. The second person came in and did a nod and said the fridge is perfectly fine. There's no issue. There's less than one degree of difference between the shelves. Yeah? I get a third call oh, from another no. practice. We need to know what this guy's name is. So it's <laughs> the company. And so these are all practices in this area that have had the same setup. Now this other practice calls me and they're really concerned. They're saying, you know, this is happening. Not quite sure. Um, I was really upset. Now they called me after they had done all this. I was so upset that I called, it's like they actually called the, the company and said, how is this possible? The fridge is brand new. And they said, we're going to send one of our own um, maintenance guys, one of the, the, the rep slash maintenance guys. And again, so this was a different practice, another second opinion said, the fridge is perfectly fine. It's actually well within um, less than one degree, it's same, same as this, this other, um, the second opinion from the other company said, less than one degree between the shelves, no issue whatsoever. So this is a bit of a, a, a warning and watch out. There are potentially scams out there. Have you reported them? Or so report? what we're doing is, yeah, so, so we've alerted the, we've alerted obviously, um, I think, and this is again, like uh, I think they use, he used to work for them and now he's now solo. And now that he's solo and working under his own kind of company, it's gone a bit paywire. So we've alerted about it so they know not to recommend his services anymore and um, and we're also letting the medical suppliers know so that they don't give out this gentleman's number <coughs> so I thought that was an interesting case because it's one of those you haven't been doing anything wrong you're actually doing everything right and all of a sudden you're faced with this decision of whoa what do we do and I thought that was like the way that you went about it was Perfect, that was ideal. The discrepancy from last year to this yeah. year, and we have done nothing different. And the only breaches that we've actually encountered is a power, 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 outage. Yeah, power outage that wasn't, you know, it was only two hours or something. So, yeah. and we did all the recommended, you know, mm -hmm. things that you meant to do with yeah. storing it, giving your vaccine safe, but following up. And no. Mm. I think you've done fantastically well, so I, I can't commend you enough. And, and yeah, so, so in total, th that we know of, there's been four practices that have had this setup. Um, two of those practices have had second opinions with two different providers and they've both been fine. So if you have that, make sure that you contact me because this is how we can investigate and see what, what's going on.